Hey everyone, it's Video Wednesday. Welcome to Tea Time with Tea again. And I have decided to do something a little different this week. Um, I have got three different topics that I'm going to mash up together. I felt like they kind of uh, went in the same group and they all happen to be from the same um, person from Facebook. It's from Christina on Facebook. And here's the three papers. And it is selfies, hashtags, and reality TV. Um, okay. It doesn't seem like you can turn on the television without seeing 500 fucking reality TV shows. And my problem with that is, is that they're still scripted. It's not like real reality. TV and it's just a bunch of drama and you get to, you know, immerse yourself into somebody else's fucking drama instead of your own. Um, I know there's a handful, like I'm saying very few out there that are actually worth watching, but I don't like them. I think they're fucking stupid. If it's reality TV, it needs to be completely unscripted and uncensored and let the chips fall where they may, so to speak. But that also is um, leading into like most reality TV shows have, you know, the self-absorbed person, the, you know, super sweet, innocent person, the, you know, evil enemy person and all of that. And they're all scripted for the most part. Uh, they don't get to just, you know, fly by the seat of their pants, so to speak. And that's the type of gal I am. I like to, you know, roll with the punches kind of shit. And now we're going to move on to selfies. Ooh. I just took like 12 selfies, to be honest with you. But I will go through them and cut out all the blurry ones, the ones with my eyes closed or crossed, you know, because, you know, whatever. You want to put your best face forward. I have seen nothing wrong with selfies in moderation. But if you're taking one every 10 seconds, has your face changed in 10 seconds, bitch? We know what you look like. Lay off. I think that uh, a lot of the new smartphones and the apps wrote for them are the reason we have so many fucking selfie queens and kings is because, you know, Instagram, Snapchat, there's nothing wrong with those, but that is encouraging you to go, Sheep, click a picture, click a picture, you know, so I can send, you know, 15 words to you with my face on it. Like you forgot what I looked like from 20 seconds ago, you know, Everything in moderation. That's my opinion. Selfies are included in that. Hashtags, on the other hand, that's this one. Uh, there are so many people that don't understand the hashtag system. I'm not going to admit that I completely understand it. But if you want something to trend, you put the fucking hashtag on it. You hashtag the shit out of it. The more hashtag views it gets, the wider your statement, post, picture, whatever will get. Because, you know, people that do use the hashtags use the shit out of them. Um, I remember when it was called a pound sign on the phone. You know, push the pound sign for whatever. And before that shit, we played tic-tac-toe on it. You know, but I am, um, you know, 41, almost 42. Uh, but some people over abuse the hashtags. Like you can write three words and have 15 hashtags. That makes no sense to me. One or two, yeah, that seems normal. That seems, you know, moderation. But when you put 15 fucking hashtags on a three word fragment of a sentence, it's not even a sentence, then. You're kind of overdoing it. 
And that's like, you know, taking everything to the extreme. Like my hair today. Yes, I took it to the faux hawk extreme. I was channeling pink this morning. And I thought, you know, I'm going to fucking rock it today. I actually was just getting on my nerves because it kept falling in my face. I need a new haircut. But, you know, if you overuse something or if you, what my generation call run it in the ground, especially in the South because, you know, where heck is all get out. Um, overuse of something, repetitively, hashtag selfies, you know, the same shit on the TV with the reality shows. Um, people get bored with that. It's like they don't have enough imagination to change it up a bit. And I have issues with people not having a lot of imagination. Um, because I was talking to some friends on my front patio yesterday. And I'm like, that is what is wrong with this generation of kids. When I was a kid, we didn't have iPhones or, you know, Xbox 360s or PS2, 3, 4, whatever. We had the fucking uh, first Atari with the slider. You had two games, Pong and Frogger. Yeah, and we didn't get to play it except for X amount of time. After it was dark. Because while it was daylight, our asses were outside. We were making up games. We were playing Ghost in the Graveyard. We were, you know, basketball, football, baseball, volleyball. We were active. And they're not active today because they're too busy hashtagging, tweeting, you know, Instagram, Snapchat, selfies. It's just they don't know how to communicate without an electronic device in the front of their face. Uh, my son's generation, sometimes it really just fucking pisses me off when they are around because they can't have a conversation with a human being. They just have their phone in front of their face constantly looking down. You see the top of their head and their eyebrows. That is all you see. And they're on, um, you know, all these apps and Tumblr, I forgot that one earlier, and it's just leading to a completely electronic field world. And the reality shows are no better in that aspect because they make the younger generation think that that's how people really behave. And honestly, I know a lot of different people but I've never seen anybody throw fits like you see on reality shows. And I've seen some pretty high-strung people. Hell, I've thrown some pretty good fits in my time. But it's not to that extreme. That is not reality. That is scripted television. But they get tagged as reality TV. And that's what, believe it or not, there are people out there that believe you know, whatever you see on TV, if it says reality or true story, it's absolutely the fucking truth, which is not always the case. Sometimes it is, but not always. But, I mean, I don't want to go on forever about this because I don't really have a lot of interest in these items. But I did want to, you know, stay true to what I said I was going to do and give you my honest opinion, which it's out there. And, uh, if you like the faux hawk, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And don't forget to head over to Facebook and you have to be active on the page or they delete you off of it, which that means they're fuckers, but you know, they can't be all to fall. Totally fucking awesome. Like we are. Um, as you notice, I'm wearing a new necklace today. It's my dragon necklace from the Eclectic Witch. And uh, I love it, and I couldn't wait to show y'all. And, of course, you know, I got my big old hooker earrings on. Not everybody that wears big hoops are hookers. I'm sorry. That was kind of prejudice. But I just like hoops, and I like them big. But uh, I'm going to put the link for the Facebook page down below. And um, 
the Eclectic Witch has put some more fabulous jewelry on. So I'm going to put her link and you go and you look at that. And remember, be good to others, but especially be good to you. Until next week, see you later.